Now that we've finished Module 2 for English 100, it's time to start Module 3. Following the pattern we established last week, this is named for the main text we'll be reading. So this is our March Book 1 module. However, we will also be reading one more storyline in our Penguin Classics Marvel Collection Black Panther, the 1973 to 1976 saga Panther's Rage, which was written by Don McGregor and drawn primarily by two artists, Rich Buckler and Billy Graham. March Book One was published 40 years after the Panther's Rage storyline started in 2013. It was written by John Lewis and Andrew Aiden and drawn by Nate Powell. Ultimately, March grew into a trilogy. In 2016, March Book Three became the first graphic memoir to ever win a National Book Award. It also won an Eisner Award, which is the highest honor in comics. While both Panther's Rage and March Book One show us stories of characters who are struggling to make their visions of better societies into realities, there is a crucial difference between the protagonists, which I should explicitly point out at the start of this module. Uh, protagonist, for the sake of our class this summer, is essentially a fancy term for good guys. Uh, our protagonist in Black Panther, T'Challa, is fictional, but our protagonist in March, John Lewis, is non-fictional. Uh, so the scenes in March are anecdotes based on events in John Lewis's real life. And when March Book One was published in 2013, Lewis had lived 73 very eventful years. He had been first a civil rights activist and then a United States representative. By the time of his death in 2020, Lewis had served in Congress for about 33 years. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Lewis, I've included in the materials for Module 3 an optional link to a video of his 2016 appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, during which he characteristically encourages us to get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. So, the word of the day is trouble. For those of you who want to read Black Panther and March Book One strategically, in Essay 3, you'll be prompted to write about two particular aspects of that. First, in both books, you should look for panels in which the protagonists and or their close collaborators communicate what type of better society they are trying to create for their people. For example, in A Utopia for a Dystopian Age, Espenhammer categorizes ideal societies as utopias of desire, justice, technology, or nature. Second, in both books, you should scout out sequences of at least a couple pages in which the creators of the comics show the protagonists struggle to create those better societies. For an example of what I mean by this, you could check out paragraphs 22 and 23 in graphic nonviolence, framing good trouble in John Lewis's March, in which Johannes Schmid analyzes a couple of the opening pages in March Book One. If you can locate one example in both books of those types of panels and sequences, you'll be in good shape to write Essay 3. Now, before I break down Module 3 into three phases for you, I want to point out that I've extended the most significant due date for Module 3 due to the Independence Day holiday on Thursday, July 4th. With that in mind, what should you do first? Even though it is not due until next Friday, July 5th, I recommend that you first read the prompt for Essay 3. That way you'll have an understanding of what the contents and the activities in Module 3 are meant to prepare you for. What should you do second? After you read the prompt for Essay 3, you should start working your way through the section of the module labeled Content. Because we spent a significant amount of time in Module 2, learning the established terminology of our unfamiliar academic field of comic studies, in Module 3 we'll concentrate on exploring additional frameworks of analysis, such as the ones you'll find in the excerpts by Scott McCloud called The Five Choices and Five Choices Checklist, and in the article by Johannes Schmidt titled Graphic Nonviolence. This section of the module is where you'll also find the next video in my How to Read a Comic Book series. What should you do third? After you complete the content section, you should move on to the craft section of Module 3. 
This is where I put together a set of lessons that are meant to deepen your understanding of the targeted skills and strategies I'll be assessing with your third essay for English 100. Once again, those include creating an anecdote from your personal experiences, creating an argumentative thesis and supporting it with evidence, formatting your essays, and compiling a works cited list. In terms of due dates, the first goal for Module 3 is to complete the contents and the activities, as well as to write a rough draft of the essay by Sunday, June 30th. The second goal is to peer review two of your classmates' rough drafts by Tuesday, July 2nd. And the third goal is to submit a finished draft of your essay by Friday, July 5th. By extending the due dates for your finished drafts, I'm hoping to make time for you to celebrate the Independence Day holiday. And if you are inspired by Lewis to perhaps get in a little trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble.